Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Oh, I'm so excited, finally. Now, originally I had these tea leaf fortune cards. I got them as a gift from a magazine that I'd written to. And unfortunately, with circumstances, they disappeared. And I finally got another pack, which I'm so excited. Okay, tea leaf fortune cards, for those that don't know, are 200 cards. Okay, they are 200 um, oracle cards, if you like, um, tea leaf reading cards, however you like to call them. There's many aspects to this um, deck, which I absolutely love. Okay, they come in a box that opens up. Let me open this up if I can. There. Comes in like a two-piece there so the cards came separated they were wrapped in um, shrink wrap which I've undone of course so I want to make it nice and simple okay, there's quite a lot of writing on the box so let's have a little bit of a look see here at what the box actually says so let's have a look here it says tea leaf fortune card set offers an innovative system for reading with 200 beautifully illustrated round cards depicting the tra traditional tea leaf symbols the 98-page guidebook provides in-depth instructions for divining the future using tea leaves and the tea leaf cards. Okay, tea leaf fortune cards with tea leaf reading cards. Ray Hepburn, an accomplished tea leaf reader, teaches you to unlock the ancient secrets of reading tea leaves. Follow a few simple guidelines and you can immediately read your fortune using this fascinating method. Now, it is a US Games deck. Okay, it says 200 round cards with a three... 0.25 inch diameter okay it's got 182 symbol cards 12 month cards and six astral house cards drawstring bag for mixing the cards 98 bag okay so 12 month cards with six astral house cards so they only have six astral house cards okay so that's interesting so we'll have a look into that okay like i said it's a box okay and it's actually illustrated by Shauna Alexander always like to recognize the um, artist I think recognizing the artist who assist or who create these decks in many ways is really really important so I do want to do that now the guidebook let's have a look at the guidebook the guidebook includes a brief history of tea, tea and tea leaf reading development of tea leaf reading uh, tea leaf fortune cards traditional tea leaf reading methods dividing your fortune using tea leaf fortune cards then it's got the coming year method the coming week method the astral house pyramid method tea leaf symbols and their meanings and then the, the last is about the author and the artist so it does go into quite a bit of detail which we sort of want to get into at some stage so i might do a bit of a um let's get back into it type of video so i'm going to sort of do a bit of reading working through this i think it's going to be a bit of a study guide i think it's going to be quite a bit into it because it is quite um complex there is quite a lot to it i mean you can make it as simple as you want of course you don't have to be so in depth with it you can sort of read straight away from it without um getting into it but it is quite good because it does give you quite a bit of um reading the cards or just give you a sample reading as well well that's interesting okay now let's have a look at the and it does give you meanings but of course you can use your own um use your own um intuition of course i mean the book is good to give you those little bit of extra info if you're not if you're sort of feeling like you're missing something the book can give you a little bit more info but, um, yeah, I think basically you can use the book the way you want, remembering each each symbol will have both its positive and negative aspects. So let's ha now, one thing I love, it actually comes in a really nice big bag, which is really cool to keep the cards in if you wish to. Okay, you can keep the cards in there if you wish to. If you don't want to wish, you don't wish to keep them in the box, you could keep them in the bag, which is quite cool. So let's have a look at the cards. 
Wow, so it's quite a lot there when you look at it, two big piles. Let's look at the first pile of um, imagery. So you can sort of see angel, ant, apple, archway, arrow, axe. And you can see that there are some keywords at the bottom of each card. So you've got the title, the image with some keywords underneath. So I think you can really start to use, and of course to use the book for further info if you wish to. But you can do straight from the straight from the box. You can read with these cards pretty much straight away. Which I what I really love about them in that way is that you're not restricted to um, just the book guidebook, but also using your own intuition as well to see what other messages come through. Because sometimes keywords can just trigger other things as well. So we have to remember that. Don't let yourself be too restricted by um, divination tools that allow us to use um, our own intuition on a further detail. You know, we can trust in in what we what how we feel about something. So I'm looking forward to using these. Might do a live with them at some stage. So yes. So it's been a little while to go through these cards with having 200. It's not just like a normal tarot set, of course, which has 78 cards. This is a lot more involved. I think it has many um, sort of Lenormand sort of concepts in them as well. So I think it sort of pulls on a lot of different um, systems really in many ways. Tea Leaf Fortune Reading Cards does pull on sort of like there are other images that sort of seem to come or other symbols that are used in other um, systems. This is interesting. Of course you've got your animals. Key. Not. Lily, a man, mice, moon, mountain. So you can see some of these. What's it called? Okay, so let's get to the end of the tea leaf reading cards. With a V, with victory in some endeavour. Hmm. Okay, so we've done just about this. Woo. Wreath, goat, young man, younger man, love. Oh, and then we've got the astrological, oh, the astral houses. Oh, I see. That's right, of course. So we've got love, marriage, happiness, success, wealth, career. Okay, so that's, that's what the sort of like top, to me, astral houses are sort of like the topics. And they're only using six of them instead of the 12, which we would normally know. Okay, so then we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, and December, which is very Northern Hemisphere um, energy about them. I mean, image-wise, image-wise, they're very Northern Hemisphere, but that's okay. I can adjust with that um, in that respect. So that's cool. So love all the cards. Love... Um, 
the way they work. Let me just put these to one side. Love, right. Let me put those to one side. Okay, I'm not going to look at those right at the moment, but let's have a look at how are we going to shuffle. Woo! I'm going to take a little practice to Trying to mix up some of these cards. I don't really want them in alphabetical order if I can help it. So it's going to take a bit of practice to sort of try and get some of these, well, a bit of time to sort of mix them up. Okay, what came out? Claw. Be careful. This could be about not taking the risk of something that you need to do right now. Maybe something has come up and you're thinking, oh, I'd really like to do that. But it's saying, hey, don't. Don't take that risk. It's time for you to actually look at other opportunities that are actually waiting for you. There could be other opportunities as well. Something that you're wanting to do is maybe a bit risky, but there could be other, other doorways opening up for you in some way. So here we've got maybe it's about getting together with friends and things could be really important. You know, maybe you've got to spend some time with some friends. That could be really important for you at this time as you climb towards success so maybe there's something you really want to do but it's saying hey don't do that it could be a bit risky but there are other options available to you um, maybe some friends and that could help you in this area as well as you climb towards the ladder of success as you get the success that you want in the future so there's some things to sort of think about well, well this is going to be i'm really looking forward to sort of getting into the stick again and using it more and um yeah so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.